Hang on, I got a duck. That's a little low. There's no room. Does this do it? The freaking EcoSport had more room than that. But did the EcoSport have this? No. No. But I'm also sure the EcoSport doesn't have the seat belt hanging here when you <laughs> fold the seats down. Oh wait, does it come back up? Oh, it comes back up! <laughs> the third row is elevated. Is so you it? Have to, like, oh, so it's theater style seating. You have to like rock crawl in here. Well, well, hang on, dude. There's a handle right here. That doesn't... That's that still... Doesn't that's kind of hang awesome. on, hang on, hang on. Let the master. It's raining. It's raining. It's, it's raining. raining. Hang on, hang on. Trip Connect. on these. Oh, oh, yep. There. Oh. <laughs> oh God, and it is so uncomfortable back here. No leg room. Okay. I would not so suggest. No, no, no! Don't crush my foot, dude. We ah. got to do this test, you know. Hang on, I got this backpack on. Oh my good. Okay, backpack is off. Headrest for the. Headrest for the third row is up and out of the way. And I, I am in. I am in it. <laughs> you, that, look at this little cutout they put for your head. Could, yeah, they had to put this little indentation here for my big ass head. <laughs> oh god. No, 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 put that back up. Put that back up. I found a button. I want to push it. Yeah! Oh, that's, Woo! Okay, that's actually This is our high trim level, right? Oh, the high country? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is the... Okay. Basically what would be a platinum in a yeah, Ford trip. As someone who drives a Lariat, I'm not impressed. But hey, you were saying earlier this morning you didn't like the cup holder placement of the Lariat, and now look that at where it's That is true, that is a good point. This is their highest trim level. I think so. And it's the newest model here. Ah, uh, probably. probably. I would say this is a so, 2020, 2019. And yet, if I, I don't, it feels like just a truck. It feels like just the truck? It's, there's nothing. There's nothing. Well, should we take a look at the standard trim? Here's a here's a base Silverado, and this is even more of an truck. It's just a truck. Yep. What the hell is this? Is that like carbon wood trim? Hey. Oh, dude. Jacob, look at the cup holder placement on this pig. Oh my gosh. No. And they're not even that big. No. And I'm just I just can't get over what the hell this is. What is this? What Chevrolet? What do you call this? This is nasty. You gotta look up. Question though. Oh. Uh, Dude, that is the coolest gas cap I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it at? Give me. Uh, no. Hang on, it's upside down. It's probably down here. No, it's right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Dude. And hey, there's a lot of space for an LS swap. <laughs> Which will probably happen. Yeah. This is a turbocharged four cylinder. What the hell? Oh my god! You're not gonna want this one, trust me. It's a turbocharged four cylinder. 2.7 liter. 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder. Look at how much space. Look at this, look at this framing structure right here. Okay? And then look at how much space is in between the fender and the framing. Holy cow, man. I'm telling you, with the way prices on trucks are going, you'd keep that V8 the rest of your life, man. Okay, Colorado, yay. Whoopee. ZR2, nobody cares. Unless you're playing Forza Horizon 4, there's the elusive ZR2 that everybody wants to spend $20 million on. But now, okay. the piece de la resistance, let's look at this thing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I am not a fan of that color, yeah. Yeah, of the interior them. or the exterior. They picked a very interesting trim for this show. But I am absolutely enthralled with this car and I cannot wait to see what it does. It's gonna be amazing. I'm really hoping it gives Ferrari a run for its money. Really? I, I really do, man. In all honesty, like, it's, yeah. it's insane. I'm not... I'm not feeling it. Because, you know, we coming from our family, Jake, you have Ford Blue running deep through your veins. And yeah. this is just so foreign to you. <laughs> and that you think it's going to be such a pile of shit. But in all honesty, it's there's been... It's not that I think it's going to be a pile of shit. It's just not... It doesn't do it for me. Like, it does it for a lot of people. They look at it and they're in awe. I don't know. 
but all of the technology that's gone into this car, all of the thinking, all of the manpower that's gone into this car, it's got a chance. We'll it's see. got a chance. We'll I, I, it's, it's awesome. I mean, come on. What other car do you know that comes with its own luggage? A lot of luxury cars, I'm pretty sure. See, they've won update, man. They've, they've stepped up their game. They're like, now you can have a briefcase with your car. Personally, I care more about the Subaru booth than I do about this. Well, then let's go to the Subaru booth. Okay. 